th this is also an opportunity for me. I've been given the honor and the privilege to be able to speak to Rabbi Spitz and, and also to your family. And this comes from both uh, myself and my wife, Francine, who's in the back with me today. But um, not many people know the, the particular relationship we have, the so many years. Um, you've been very special to us and our family, uh, partly because your parents and Francine's parents were very, very close friends in Phoenix. They knew you very well, and they knew your parents very well. In fact, your parents were at our wedding, and Francine's parents were at your wedding. And when you came out and interviewed here at B'nai Israel for the first time, because of that relationship, you stayed at our house. It's meant so much to us. You've been um, a friend, a counselor, a teacher, and our rabbi for all these years. Um, you've become part of our family. You've presided at the B'nai Mitzvah for all three of my children, Avra, Josh, and Daniel. You married two of them. One of them traveling with you and Linda traveled out to Boulder to be with Francine and I on that occasion. Um, you helped guide us not just through these life cycle events that we were celebrating, but also through difficult times. You were there for the, when our parents passed away, and, and again, you came to Phoenix to help me to preside over my father's funeral. It meant a lot, and all these years, all of this means so much. It's more than just being a rabbi. It's going, it's taking that extra step. But we've continued with that. Our children have grown up. Um, Francine and I have spent time, when we go to New York, we've had dinners and spent time with your kids. I know you've gone to Colorado and you always see Daniel when you're there. I, I do have one short story that I'd like to tell everybody about w one of my favorite remembrances of time with you. So when I was president, which I was president when we built this synagogue, and the original building was just the social hall, nothing else. So just that, the back portion. Um, and that was really a privilege for me. And during that time period, you and I would meet, and we would meet for breakfasts and um, lunches. We would get together I think if it wasn't weekly, it was no more than bi-weekly to have some time together just to see what was going on. And um, it was your birthday one year. And I was asked to try and meet with you later in the day, um, if actually in the evening, and get together with you and then bring you back into the synagogue where there was a party planned. So it, and it was supposed to be a surprise party. So you and I went out and we met for coffee or I don't know, it might have been dinner. I, I, I actually don't remember that part of it. But we, we met here at the synagogue and we came back and um, we were going to finish our discussion inside. But when we pulled up, and this was supposed to be a surprise party for him, we pulled up, the parking lot is filled with cars. Um, and he looked at me and he goes, what are all these cars? And I looked and I said, I, I don't know, maybe there's a meeting or a neighbor's having a party, I don't know. Um, and I don't know why, but you must have believed me. <laughs> um, and when we walked in, there were the congre half the congregation at least was there to celebrate your birthday with you. And I don't know how we pulled off the surprise, but somehow we did. And, and um, I'll never forget the look on your face and, uh, and I'll never forget that you, in fact, were surprised. <laughs> I wish for you, though, a year, a years and years and years, you and your family continued happiness, joy, success, and learning. And I know that those will come about. Knowing you and your family, I know that will come about. I'm sure of it. You continue to stretch yourself 
You will continue to, I know, provide teaching to us and to others. That's your style. That's who you are. And I want to thank you on behalf of the congregation and also on behalf of Francine and I and myself for being that guiding light for us, for being the symbol of B'nai Israel, of bringing B'nai Israel to where it is today, and to keeping this family, this B'nai Israel family together. And as evidence of that, we saw Melissa today, and she was terrific. What a great example of what B'nai Israel can do and what you, and, and through your guidance, what we've been able to achieve. So thank you so much to you and your family. You've really meant a lot. So just words of gratitude to Ron and Francine, who are extended family. Ron, that surprise was for my 40th birthday, which this week is 27 years ago. In fact, that was my Haftorah 54 years ago. So it is a blessing to um, harvest gifts of affection and it means a lot to me all the more when it comes to people who, when I look at you, my hands go to my heart. Francine and Ron, you are a blessing to me. Thank you.